Hey guys, this is an update to a video I made three weeks ago uh, where I showed you the sinkholes and copious amounts of black um, liquid pouring from the west coast of Portland. Um, just to give you a bit of background, I was doing some research in Portland, so I was scrutinising the coast of Portland and I noticed these three open sinkholes. Um, so I emailed the Portland Coast Watch and asked them for more information about the sinkholes and also asked them um, uh, it, for more information about the black liquid that was pouring from the cliffs. I had um, an instant response of an absolutely lovely fellow from the Coast Watch um, who didn't know anything about the sinkholes or the black liquid but he, he was very prompt and he um, emailed the Crown Bailiff Jane White who has a duty of care for the South West Coast Path. And um, it turns out that Jane White was fully aware of the three open sinkholes, um, but as they are on MOD land and not on the public coast path, I'm assuming they are deemed not a problem. So, um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, quite how significant the issue with the West Coast is. Um, so, I'm going to literally go along the coast. We're, we're starting at the northwest coast of Portland and we're working our way south. And I'm going to do it frame by frame just to show you how significant this is. So, um, the area from the MOD base to the Coast Watch building, the height of the coast, probably about a quarter of a mile, isn't too bad. That's this bit here. Um, however, oh, just before I, I go on, right next to the Coast Watch building, I noticed something really strange in the ground. And I don't know, I'm going to highlight this in a minute, but there is a circle here that has a cross on it. There is a circle, a huge circle here, and there is also a huge circle here. Um, so if anybody's got any idea what, what that is, I'd love to know. Um, I sincerely hope that they are not indicative or the beginnings of any kind of sinkholes, because if they were, they would be absolutely massive. Um, I'm just going to highlight that a bit for you, just to make sure you can see this. Um, by all means, go on Google Earth yourself and have a look. Um, they are there. Let's highlight those again. Okay. Now, this is the area that I am the most concerned about, this part of the um, coast path. And the reason I'm the most concerned about this bit is because the amount of black liquid that is pouring from the face here. And as you can see, it goes all the way along. Now, I think that this liquid is water. <coughs> and I think what's happening, I think the ground here, oh, I think this is hollow, um, all above here, and I think the rainwater and the water's getting in, and um, I think it's pouring out the face here. However, um, I think that means that the area where this liquid is are the areas that are most vulnerable, um, because um, for the amount of liquid coming through, obviously I think that is indicative of how hollow it is. Um, I could be wrong, but um, that's what my common sense tells me. Um, now also this whole area here looks to me like it's got lots of little mini indentations. Um, so personally, um, I would not be walking along this um, coast path um, if I lived on Portland. I live in Weymouth, um, but if I lived on Portland, I would be walking my dog somewhere else. Um, okay, this is a close-up. Um, and again, you can sort of see these indentations and uh, you know, this, this black stuff that's coming through. And so what I'm doing here, I'm just panning um, towards the south of the island, um, frame by frame. So this is to give you an indication, well, to show you how significant this issue is. Um, and, you know, we can see here there, there appears to be a crack, um, quite a significant crack. And uh, we've got a lot of liquid um, coming through here and here. Um, and I really don't think this is the Google glitching. Um, I really don't. Um, so again, we've gone over one frame, and you, you know you can see how significant this is. Um, and to the far right, there's lots and lots there as well. Um, that's good. Um, and here, you know, it's literally pouring through. And like I've just said, anywhere where this is pouring through means that the area above it is vulnerable, in my opinion. But yeah, you know, you can, you can see how significant that is. Um, okay. 
so this area isn't too bad. Um, so I'm just showing you this for perspective as to where we are. And I see, you know, I say this isn't too bad, but you know, you can see where chunks are sort of coming away. Um, again, so we've got a crack here, and then we've got more of this sort of black bit here coming through. So here we have um, a suspicious looking circular indentation. Um, I would say this is the beginning of a sinkhole, um, or ready to sinkhole. A nice little sort of green grass in here as well. Um, so again, we've just panned around, we've just gone on, on frame over. Um, again, just to, just to demonstrate that this black bit is just everywhere. Um, now here is an area of real concern. So these are, well this looks like an awful lot of the bits of the chunks have gone on this bit. So we need to be very cautious along here. Um, this area again looks particularly bad. We've got huge chunks kind of coming down. We've got these little bits of subsiding. Um, an aerial view. Now this is where we've got more actual open sinkholes um, corresponding with cracks and things like this. So here we have an open sinkhole and a corresponding crack. Here we have another open sinkhole and a corresponding crack. We have a circular indentation here which is worrying and I personally think that this whole area is incredibly vulnerable and I most definitely will not be walking on here let my kids play on here or let my dogs run around here. Um, not with the not with, with these holes at either side and these cracks, so I, um, I really wouldn't. And then we've got another one of these circles up here. So. And um, I, I just posted this for interest because we've got, this is Black North Fork, and I was just thinking about these circles, and by the way, the circles that I'm showing you in the grass, I've seen them all over Portland. Um, they're all over the east coast, they're, they're all over. Um, I'm just showing you the ones along the sort of west side of the coast. Um, but yeah, and I'm wondering if maybe there were more of these than we knew about. Um, and they've kind of grown over or something. Um, don't know, it's a theory. So again, this is, I think this is just for perspective to show you where we are. Um, and here we can see, so we're looking at black again to the right hand side of the photograph and what you can see is there is a one, two, three, four cracks in the base here directly below this bit of the field. Um, this bit isn't too bad um, and neither is this bit but we can see this black bit coming through here. Um, we can see subsiding chunks coming away here, and now we are back to here. So what I've just done is I've done a journey from the northern part, northern part of Portland, all the way to here, and um, shown you that we actually have issues all the way along this coastal path. So um, I would like you to share this video um, with um, anybody that you think may want to know about this. And also, I'm going to put a little appeal out now, actually. If anybody has a drone and is very good at flying it and would like to kind of investigate this further, because um, I would like to have a look properly and not just on um, Google satellite view. And also, if there's anything in this video that has concerned you, um, the Crown Bailiff, Jane White, is the person to contact because she is the person who has a duty of care for the South West Coast Path. Um, thank you for watching and I will be back soon.